Hi, my name is John Parati. I'm the owner of Mobility Equipment Recyclers. What we're doing today is we're working on this power chair. It's a quickie power chair. We're trying to get it set up for an individual who's going to be using it with a head array. Uh, the head array is a device that the user is able to drive the chair with just their head. You press backwards on this, this portion of the head array and you can drive forward or reverse. Press on this side and go left and this side and you go right. So we're fitting this to this Quickie S525 today. Uh, we'll report back with some updates. Now that we've got all the electronics on the chair, we need to position the electronics and we need to put the final touches on the chair in order to finalize it for the end user. Now that we have the head array on the chair, he's going to be able to drive the chair forward and reverse with just using his head using this system. You can go left, go right, forward and reverse. Now we need to place the display in a functional location for the user and we also need to attach a side control for the tilt actuator to help the user tilt backwards and forwards. This is going to be a separate unit put on the side of the chair so that an assistant or somebody helping the user is going to be able to help them tilt. So here we have it, the Quickie S525 completed, it has the head array system on it, it has the display, it has the egg switches so that the user can control it using just their knees. It also has the side control so that an attendant is able to tilt the chair for the user without them having to do it themselves. Now let's get a little more into the functions of the chair, some of the electronics that we put on the chair, and how to use them. Right, as you can see here, we have a contoured backrest. The user, however, needed a little bit more support on the lateral sides, so we added these lateral supports. These are great for people that lean to one side or, you know, their body's contoured one way, you know, they get pulled one way or another. By adding these lateral supports along with this contoured backrest, we're really able to position the user so that they're not falling from one side to another. Moving on to further supporting equipment, these are thigh supports. These thigh supports allow the user to be positioned directly center into the chair. If you lean too far to one side or another, not only is it uncomfortable, but it's, it's not good for the body. Lastly, we have the feet supports. These supports allow the user to have their feet stuck right in the center. So these supports are the final step to allowing us to position this user right down the middle. Now let's get into some of the more important stuff. The drive controls and the electronics. The most important aspect of this chair that we installed was this head array. The use of this head array allows the individual to operate the chair only with the use of their head. So as you can see, with me pushing my head backwards, I go forwards. With me pushing my head to the right, I go right. With me pushing my head to the left, I go left. So as you can see, you only need very slight clicks with your knee in order to put it in reverse, very slight click with the knee to put it in forward. And then if you want to turn the chair off or on, you press that button and the chair is off. And now I can just sit here and relax, I don't have to operate the chair. Once I want to turn the chair back on, I press the button with my knee 
and then I'm able to operate the chair again by using the head control. So the last and very important feature that we have in this chair is the attendant control here for the tilt function. The tilt function is very important for many users that struggle with pressure sores or they spend too much time sitting on their bottom. This allows you to distribute the weight between your back and your bottom so that you can avoid developing pressure sores and it also is a lot more comfortable if you're able to transfer the position in which you're sitting. By attaching it to the side for the attendant to be able to control it, you still allow somebody be to be able to move the chair for the user. So there you have it, the custom modification for the Quickie S525 with the head control package, the egg switches, the display, and the tilt function. We customize and modify pretty much any type of power wheelchair. All of our equipment, this has been completely customized, pre-owned Quickie power wheelchair, and that's what we, we specialize in. Up to 90% off the original cost of any device and equipment, all these parts were pre-owned. So if you guys need some custom modifications, are struggling to afford it, and you need some quality work done, if you have any questions, concerns, anything, reach out to us and we're here to help. We love any inquiry. Please reach out to us today.